Hi guys, Drew here for Z Code System, and this week I want to talk to you guys about the NBA, and most specifically, I want to show you a tool on Z Code System that will help you make some money and some profits off of the NBA playoffs this year, as we are getting close to the NBA postseason which will begin in April. Now, of course, you can go over to Z Code System and you can check out our sports predictions and picks for all the various sports and all the uh, different things that we post up there on our blog. And uh, most recently, you can see that the Omega is back, hockey legend who is giving his insight and uh, expertise to betting and uh, find out some more as he talks to you about some ice hockey in NHL. Now, let's talk about the NBA, though. And first off, I want to show you the Z Code Lab here. And all you have to do is go to zcodesystem.com and get into the VIP club. And you'll see the tabs at the very top here. And all you want to do is to find the Z Lab. And uh, you will have this pop up. And all you need to do is scroll down to find uh, a lot of great information. Of course, you can find the automated systems and you can find some of the tools that we use at Z Code System to help make educated sports investments and picks. Now, I want to look down here at the bottom to the playoff simulator. Now, I've already have it opened up into a tab here uh, and I've got the NBA playoff simulator opened up. And as you can see, this is the current one through eight standings in both the Western Conference and the Eastern Conference in the NBA. Now, this is a very fun uh, tool to use, the playoff simulator, because all you have to do is hit the simulate button. And what will happen is the software will simulate the entire postseason and show you who it predicts will win the NBA Finals. Now, the NBA Finals will be played in June, and the playoffs will uh, tip off in April. And uh, very before we go through the simulator, I just want to talk a little bit about some of the exciting teams right now in the NBA. Of course, the Milwaukee Bucks in the Eastern Conference, a team that I very much like. Um, I love Giannis Antetokounmpo. I know I'm saying that completely wrong, but I do love the way he plays, and I love how they play as a team, uh, doing fantastically uh, in the Eastern Conference, and unfortunately, um, a lot of fans have seen the Boston Celtics fall away this year. They're not playing very well, but um, the rise of the Philadelphia 76ers making some big moves during the regular season, getting Jimmy Butler, for example, as well as Tobias Harris. So some good things going on there in Philadelphia. Toronto has been extremely strong uh, in the Eastern Conference, and right now Milwaukee and Toronto are the one and two seeds uh, in the Eastern Conference, and pretty much the two teams right now that a lot of experts are picking to come out of the Eastern Conference. Now, if you go over to the Western Conference, it's a little bit more, I guess you could say, competitive there. Of course, we've talked about this over the last few years in the NBA Western Conference, it being more of a, uh, a competitive division with some of the more of the best players in the league um, going over there and playing. And you know, Golden State right now is on top of the West. Fantastic season that they're having once more. And, of course, this could be the last year that uh, Kevin Durant plays in Golden State, as well as Clay Thompson. Both can move on to uh, pastures elsewhere. Uh, so this could be really Golden State's last year for this dynasty uh, playing there. And I know a lot of people have said a lot of things about Golden State being uh, maybe over the hill or there being too much drama going on in Golden State this year. But if... If you ask me, Golden State is still the best team in the NBA. And right now, um, looking at things from my perspective, I think Golden State is your favorite to win the NBA Finals. And of course, most leading sports books have them listed as the favorite to win the NBA Finals. Now, I would not count out the Oklahoma City Thunder because they are playing really well. Now, never been a big fan of Russell Westbrook. I think he shoots too much. I think he does. Uh, too much without making his team better as a whole, if you will. I know a lot of people won't agree with that, but I do love what Paul George has done there. He's made them such a uh, a good team in the West, but if they have to play Golden State in the second round, as they would at the moment, uh, that could be trouble for them. Um, you know, you, you talk about Denver, who have been near the top of the Western Conference for much of the season. I think they're going to fall away in the playoffs. I just don't think that they can continue on uh, the way they have and uh, of course Houston is a bit of a wild card they won the Western Conference last year while Golden State finished second 
Uh, currently, they are the third seed uh, in the Western Conference. Um, you know, a, like I said, a wild card. Big fan of James Harden, excellent player. Um, but we'll really see what uh, they're made of uh, in the Western Conference Finals. But remember, it's the playoffs, so you don't have to be the best team during the regular season. All you have to do is be that one of those top eight teams in your conference and be the best team by the end of the playoffs. So that's really my take on on that for now. Now, as I said before, Golden State are the heavy favorites to win the uh, NBA Finals, according to leading sports books. And if you look at the Eastern Conference, a lot of sports books are favoring Toronto coming out of there. They do have experience in the playoffs. Uh, Kawhi Leonard uh, had a lot of experience with the uh, San with the San Antonio Spurs. Milwaukee just doesn't have that experience yet. But you know what? I think experience is a lot of the time overrated. And I think that uh, for me, Milwaukee has the has just as good a shot, uh, just as good of a shot as Toronto to come out of the Eastern Conference. Now, let's take a look at this handy dandy tool from Zico System, the Playoff Simulator, and see what it predicts our NBA winner will be, and as well as our final. So let's go ahead and hit that simulate button. And uh, before I do, I just want to show that we are at upset level average. So we're going to just uh, scroll there so you can see everything in the shot. And I'm going to hit simulate. And it's just going to take a few seconds, all of the magic it does. And as you can see, Z Code System has given us a bit of a surprise here with the predictions for the playoffs with the Houston Rockets winning in seven games over the Philadelphia 76ers. Now, let's go back and look at the different rounds here. As you can see, predicted here, Golden State to win, or sorry, excuse me, Golden State to lose in four games to San Antonio Spurs, the Trailblazers to overcome the Thunder, the Clippers and the Nuggets, uh, the Clippers to come away there, and of course the Rockets to come away there. You know, a lot of uh, people will not be agreeing with these. And, and you know what? I don't uh, agree with this either. Um, but you know what? I do like the Rockets making their way into the conference finals here. Um, I do like that. Not so much the Trailblazers. Now, once you get to the conference finals, as happened last year in the um, 2018 conference finals between Golden State and Houston, that was a, a bit of a back and forth um, series with Golden State finally taking the upper hand late uh, late on. Could the Rockets upset them this year? Well, they certainly could, but uh, they're going to have to play more consistently than they have for much of this season. Now, let's go over to the Eastern Conference, and as you can see, uh, the Bucks looks like they're going to be predicted to be pushed to seven games by the Hornets. The Celtics to go down in five games to the Philadelphia 76ers. Uh, a surprise there, the uh, Brooklyn Nets to overcome the Toronto Raptors while the Pacers overtake the Pistons. And as we get to uh, a little bit further on here, there's a, the prediction of the Pacers taking on the Philadelphia 76ers. And as I said earlier, you know, we have the Eastern Conference, which is not necessarily as strong talent wise uh, as the Western Conference. So, in a way, you could see this being your result for the conference finals, the Philadelphia 76ers taking on the, the Indiana Pacers. Now, I personally think the Bucks can come away from their part of the bracket um, and win the um, win the Eastern Conference. They will be pushed by the Raptors, uh, as well as the 76ers. I think right now in the Eastern Conference, there are really three teams that can come away with winning the East. Bucks, 76ers, and the Raptors. Uh, for me in the West, I still think it's going to be Golden State to come away there. Um, my personal pick for the NBA Finals, I'm looking at a Golden State versus Milwaukee Bucks Final and with the Golden State Warriors coming away with the win. But that is my personal prediction. And of course, you can go to Z Code System and you can try out the playoff simulator. You can do it for basketball. You can do it for the NHL playoffs, which are coming up. And when baseball season rolls around, you can do it for the Major League Baseball season. Now, of course, when new data comes in and uh, new more games are played, and as well as when the playoffs come around, you can check out the simulator and simulate once more. And perhaps because of the new data, you will find that things are a little bit different then than they are today. But right now, this is our prediction Houston Rockets over the Philadelphia Sixers in seven games in the NBA Finals. 
guys, I hope that helps you out a lot with your, uh, your wagering and your sports investments coming up as the playoffs tip off. Now, you can go to Z Code System. You can check out the playoff simulator. You can check out all the other tools. Uh, as I told you, showed you before, you can check out all of these different tours, the schoolers predictor, the sports predictions. Uh, you can check out all of the automated systems to get more educated picks for your sports betting. And as well as you can go to, as it loads up, you can go over to the blog and you can check out all of the picks that we post up there uh, for free that you can check out. You can use those and make educated sports investment selections this week. Guys, good luck with your NBA betting. Good luck with your playoff betting. And I hope you are very successful when it comes to the NBA Finals. Thank you guys. We'll see you next week.